Okay, this is uh, some of the settings you need Tuner Pro. I wanted to show what a normal setup would look like as far as some of the numbers. Uh, had a couple of issues with uh, maybe a burnt valve and some other mechanical issues that uh, caused the uh, Tuner Pro to look a little strange and was hard to diagnose. Uh, first, to start with the tachometer. The tach should be uh, around 750 and uh, that's where the engine tries to idle if you turn on your air condition if you've uh, opted for the uh, optional AC kit it'll go to 850 when the uh, air conditions uh, energize. One of the most important things there is the map sensor. That's your vacuum sensor. If you'll notice it idle, not in drive. This thing is uh, bouncing around between uh, 45 45 48 to 47. It kind of bounces around a little bit. We bop, drop it down and drive. Notice it goes to around 56, 57. Starts holding pretty steady though. Doesn't bounce around really crazy. That's letting you know that you got a really good steady uh, vacuum source. Which without it, the fuel injection will start dumping fuel in because it thinks you're pressing the gas. Kick this thing back to neutral. Notice a little acceleration. It comes right back down and goes back to 750. And the computer shuts off when you don't need it to. Right beside that is the spark advance at idle running 25 degrees. I know that's normally a lot, but hey, we like we like timing here. Uh, 180 on the temperature, and that's the coolant temperature, not the uh, intake air. And of course, the vehicle speed, we're not moving. Throttle positioning sensor. As you can see, that part works. And uh, over on the right hand side, we've got a fuel usage guide. It only works when you're running. Now, down at the very bottom, we got the uh, fuel injector. And that's how the fuel injector is changing to keep the uh, engine burning at 14.7. Right now, it's showing rich, but it bounces off between rich and lean. One of the other things that we're really looking at is this O2 sensor. If that O2 sensor is not properly working, neither will your fuel injection system. Your IEC control motors, they should be less, they should be 15 or less when you're sitting at an idle. Notice 122's in yellow. That's uh, the correction being made in the long term by the computer. Anything over 110, 115 would consider good. But a 122, that just means it's running a little rich, but the uh, O2 sensor is taking it back and letting it burn at the 14.7 to one that has been uh, requested. Uh, of course, we've got the desired idle there. So I've got some uh, things that you might need here, but what I wanted to show basically was what a normal engine looks like running. And uh, hey, this is our demo. If you have any questions, just uh, give me a uh, buzz or uh, email me at ted at browndata.com.